hey guys welcome back so in the previous video we have already looked at how to join the plugin waitlist and i told you i'll do a follow-up videos once we get access to uh, chat gpt plugins and it looks like uh, chat gpt has rolled out the uh, chat gpt plugins for anyone with gpt plus currently and i'll show you how you can go ahead and enable it from now on so chat gpt has released this uh, i don't know which all countries it's rolled out that's not clear right but in united states and uh, many other places i checked with people so this feature is out so the idea of plugins is the plugins enable you to access ton of uh, new tools and also the latest information which you didn't have access to in the traditional chat gpt plugins can be super useful when you are trying to book uh, tickets or trying to do some educational stuff we'll walk over stuff you can do with plugins if you have access to plugins let me show you how you can activate this plugins so uh, for this uh, let me make it clear so gpt plugins currently are not supported in the free version of uh, chat gpt which is 3.5 but the premium version do have access to plugin so once you have logged into your chat gpt account and if you don't know how to do that just go to chat gpt in internet and here you can just uh, click on the click on the first link which says chat gpt here and click on try chat gpt and you can log in with uh, your username password validate your phone information so you can do all that good stuff and after you are done this brings you to the plugin and in the plugin you, you do see this three dots so click on this three dots go to settings and in settings you see something called beta feature in the beta feature if this is enabled or if you see this beta feature showing up in your account then that implies plugins are available for your account and you can enable them so to uh, once you are done with all that then the next thing uh, you need to do is uh, there is uh, one more stuff you will see once you enable plugin which i wanted to show you here and i've already done this so that's why i won't see this again here so what plugins are are plugins are powered by third party applications that are not controlled by open source uh, that are not controlled by open source ai uh, uh, that are not controlled by open ai and be sure you trust this plugin before installation and plugins connect chat gpt with external apps if plugins are enabled chat gpt may send a part of your data or communication and your location and state to the plugin to enhance the information so if you are uh, using chat gpt in a corporate environment just make sure you check with your company policy so using plugins won't be violating that so just wanted to make uh, this part uh, clear to you guys and chat gpt automatically chooses which plugin to use during a conversation depending on the plugins you have enabled so we are going to look at use cases how this uh, works so let me show you that later on so by default if you click on this one no plugin will be there and you have to enable this the first time you do it so i've already if i don't do this then it is set to the default so if you set to default you don't see plugin if you want plugin enabled click on this so once plugin are enabled you see this one and the idea here is you can use any three plugins at a given instance and there are ton of plugins that are already there i'll show you how you can just uh, go them go to the plugin store so these are all the plugins that are there you can install a verified plugin or if you are a developer we'll also look at this course how we can build our own plugin so i'll show you how we can create some plugins later on but first let's look at the plugins that are available to understand the broad idea what's the how they are being used in open air in chat gpt so you can also build a own plugin or uh, you can you are also free to use the plugin store so let's use the plugin store here okay so in the plugin store 
uh, you can see a wide variety of plugins that are available here. So you can use it for variety of purposes. We are going to look at uh, the most popular ones and use cases which you might come across. But uh, the most popular stuff what we do most of them so is uh, we travel. So let me go ahead and do the kayak which basically search flights, cars or a recommendation or we can also use Expedia here which book flight. So these are the two plugins I'm currently using. And if I once I've installed this plugin and let me go back here. So I you see two of these three plugins are enabled. So if you don't enable them, pl no plugins will be enabled. So if you want the plugin to be used, you have to select it. Okay, so we will use the kayak one. So what we can do here is uh, let's look at some examples here. So uh, let me also ask, can you, let me just copy paste my prompt here, just a minute. Okay, so I can ask, book me a flight from San Francisco to Texas. So if I ask this question, it's using kayak now. So you can see, uh, we also knew that ChatGPT has only limited information. It does not have events on current uh, information. Using plugins, you can see how ChatGPT is able to search the internet and provide you with the latest information that previously were not able to do it. So it should give us a list uh, in some time. It's generating the data now. Cool. So it came up with uh, the options for us. It says prices from San Francisco start at uh, 151, non-stop flights at 340 are offered by this one. Uh, here are some options to stay. Cool. Uh, and uh, similarly, there are other plugins. So you can also look at events and you can book events which match a timeline and similarly, uh, if you had to go to Expedia, Kayak and other stuff, you had to search all this data, you can do that too. But with plugin, you can do the same stuff in ChatGPT and it's going to give us uh, a link here. So if I just click on this, uh, you can go ahead and book your flight here with the best price, what you were looking for. So it does the job what you can probably go and do it in Kayak. And we'll look at more plugins and similarly the hotel information. So it gave us the three possible ho hotels I could stay and it's also giving us the price per night in that hotel. And similarly, uh, let's look at some more plugins here. Uh, okay, so I can't change a plugin midway. So let me go back here and let me go to the plugin store and let's say, uh, okay. So this has information about uh, real world knowledge, the wool farm. It accesses computation, math, curated knowledge and real time data through wool farm and uh, alpha and wool farm language. So now let's go and try testing it. So on some real world data, if you want, you can leave all the three enabled or you can just have two, but at any given time it's max three. So what I can do is uh, what's the day today? So I'm just checking if ChatGPT knows the current events. Okay, today is May 13. And uh, what are the sporting events for this weekend? Okay, so it should give us the data now. You can see though we have Kayak enabled, it's using the wool farm because it's a current event related question and Kayak does not have that data. So just wanted to demo how plugins are used. So it was not able to find anything here. Okay, so I can also ask uh, how's the weather today in Austin, Texas.
so yeah it gave us the current temperature the condition relative humidity and the wind speed and the forecast is between uh, cool so it uh, gave us the current world information so this is what i wanted to demo uh, in the first part of the plugin and how you can play around with plugin in the follow up video we'll come up with more use cases where plugins are useful for us and we'll also look at developing uh, our own plugins part of this series i hope this helps thank you for joining